Noi suntem o inițiativă voluntară a Școlii de Coaching Noble Manhattan, care este în România de mai mult de 12 ani. Ce mai mulți dintre voi deja o cunoaște. Pentru mai multe informații legate de cursurile Școlii de Coaching Noble Manhattan, vă puteți adresa Oliviei, Nicula aici, Education Manager. Da. În seara asta, înainte aș avea o întrebare. Dacă cineva nu vrea să fie fotografia sau filmat, da? Okay. În seara asta avem un invitat deosebit și simt că orice aș spune eu despre el ar fi mult prea puțin. Așa că, uh, Mark, I invite you to introduce yourself and take over the Thank you very much. Okay, welcome. Bună, bună seara. Cool. Let's start with the Now, notice how you are. So close your eyes, close your eyes, probably not. Nice. Notice what mood you're in. Turn your phones off if you haven't already. Yeah, notice how you are, what state have you brought to you? You're tired at the end of a long day, you're happy, you're curious, you're sad, your hamster died. Where's 
Nazi over here somewhere. Some up, especially for German. Okay, the high energy of the guy, anyone who this? Yes, maybe a little bit of the sun. Um, so kind of, who's a coach? Who's a coach? Let me see who's here. So hands up, coaches. What? What? What's that? Okay, who's like a trainer, facilitator? Maybe some other title like learning facilitator. Okay, who's yoga teacher? Yoga teachers, yoga teachers. Okay, uh, who? Uh, HR? Yeah, great. Okay, work with HR. HR. Um, what else? Artistic, creative people? Yeah, but I'm being on time, appreciate it. Psychologists? Yeah? You can tell me about that. Awesome. I'm a third generation teacher. Third generation. Runs in the family, you can't help it, you know? I've got a date with someone in my family to start teaching you. So, uh, body things. Who does yoga? You don't have to be a teacher, but who does it? Quite a lot. Okay, who does some martial arts? Mm -hmm. Fight with it! Your style is weak! What style? What do you do? Oh, brilliant! I do like here. 22 years. What? So, dance? Yeah, well, like, well, like, not just like drunk at a party, but like a tango or like, what do you do? Fight rhythm? Shut up, shut up. So, lots of dancers, that's cool, that's cool. I mean, there's other body things out there, but these are some of the influences on the work like body therapy, dance, improv. Martial arts. So, um, 22 years ago, I think, I was at university doing psychology, uh, and uh, really what I was doing at university was lots of martial arts. And I naturally started to combine the two. Um, I had a career in the humanitarian sector, uh, so I was in dangerous places, war zones, basically all over the world, which was interesting, if not always fun. Uh, I worked with children quite a lot, uh, and outdoors, and forests, and climbing towers, and things like this. I've uh, worked in business, so I've worked with companies you probably know, like um, Unilever or L'Oreal or Shell, or um, I worked with Ikea a few weeks with Freedom. Um, so, you know, I've done this in the corporate world, but I've also done it with alternative groups. So I'm working with yoga teachers, for example, a lot. Okay, so what the hell is embodiment, right? Like, it's weird, but don't worry, it's not true English. It doesn't make sense to anyone. So, um, embodiment. So we can think of body as a thing. So take your arm. Take your arm. You have an arm, one arm at least. Excellent, good. You're still human here. And um, you can orientate to it as an object, right? Like, try that. Like, it's a piece of meat, it's like a thing, an it. Yeah, that's like one way to orientate it to yourself. Like, you're a machine. And, you know, like, I broke my shoulder once, the doctor's looking at it. It's not bad, but it has consequences, right? So, and then try that with a partner. So, could you treat my arm like an object? It's good enough to have to so, yeah. Get permission. Thank you. Get permission. Okay, so that's one thing. There you go. We won't spend too long doing that. <laughs> now, wait for this. Now, this hand, this, this arm is part of me as well. So, another perspective is it's not, this isn't just a brain test. Another perspective is that the body is a core part of who we are. It's part of how we think, it's part of our emotions, uh, it's part of our perceptions even, it's part of our interaction, and of course our coaching or yoga teaching or whatever we do the profession. Yeah? So this hand is part of it, that's a different thing. Um, our environment impacts it, so we're not feeling your body, or the effects, and things like this. Like we're looking at working, working at a coffee shop is really uh, fancy. Maybe you could we are used to it. So your arm is also a part of who you are. Your arm is also, this is hell of babies. This has thoughts. This has really creative things. I love it. Yeah. So this arm is part of me. So take your own arm now. And your arm now is feeling. So you're not just doing, you're feeling. And it can move, right? It can, you know, Okay. And now try with a partner to ask permission, because with a chair, I can move a chair without asking, can I? Okay, but if I try to move you without asking, you probably would get upset. Okay? Or you maybe you enjoy it, but it's usually I would at least have to ask. So, ask permission, find your partner's arm, and this time acknowledge it as part of who they are. Does that make sense? So, subject, not object. Try. Okay. 